Hello everyone and welcome to Purple Rose Crafts. Today we're talking about the Granny Square. So they're so versatile. There's so many different options for Granny Squares. Um, here I've just got a couple of examples of how to do, of you know, different styles of Granny Square. You've got like this simple one where you've got a straight, um, single color, um, you know, not, not complicated by any means. Um, and then you've got, um, this is more of a traditional granny square. It has uh, more of that like little granny, um, you know, clusters. And then we have, this is more of a, a similar one to this yellow one, um, except I've added a, a white border around the outside. So, you know, you've got your just straight crocheting across each of the, around each row. And then you're just making a little hole when you make your corner. Uh, for this one similar very similar to this yellow one here just added a nice um, border to it and this last one there are so many different patterns online about how to um, create different uh, motifs in your um, granny squares things like this um, kind of daisy pattern that I've created um, with this is actually called the puff stitch around here if you're not familiar with that so what I did was the uh, magic ring in the middle and then I created a puff stitch in each of the stitches around to kind of give me that kind of more petally um, look around that that row and then um, be, is it created that into a, a square afterwards as you can see here there's some nice small single crochets um, along the sides and then we've got some larger um, double crochets in the corners to kind of make that a little bit longer and turn that more into a square. And then I just finished with some double crocheting around the outside. So let's get to the granny square. Today we're going to start with just a very basic granny square. So, all right, so we're using a four and a half millimeter crochet hook, although you can't actually read that on my hook because it's in the part where I put my thumb and it rubbed off because um, it's one of my favorites. All right, and as far as yarn, we're using the Loops and Threads Impeccable in this beautiful pink color, which is called Lippy or Rose Bonbon in French, and it's a medium. All right, so what we're going to do is we've pulled our yarn out of the center of the ball, as I usually do. All right, and we're going to start get everything out of our way. All right. Okay, so we're gonna start with a magic ring. So we leave a long tail and we create a slip knot. And we can do that with our crochet hook or without, it does not matter. It's all the same. And we're going to start with two chains and make our circle with our tail. And now we're gonna crochet over both thread of those strands. So double crochets on our first row of the granny square and we're going to do 12 double crochets into the ring I have a board on my Pinterest feed that has all kinds of patterns free granny square patterns to all of those and honestly so many of them are just so beautiful so when but when doing a granny square blanket or scarf or anything really um, a granny square motif what you want to do is make sure that you have um, all the same um, pattern or you're going to be using at least at a very very minimum if you want to do multicolored just to make sure all of your yarn weights are the same so that is kind of our one big tip for granny squares. If you notice, I'll take a pause here. All right, if you notice, putting these two squares on top of one another, one is definitely bigger than the other. Same thing, and these yarn weights are exact, so these two yarn weights are exactly the same. Um, they're all threes, they're all the same brand of yarn. I use the loops and threads um, baby and um, in the big ball and they're all exactly the same weight and everything but you can see that with different patterns we end up with a little bit of different sizing so as much as you might want to do a multi uh, like a blanket full of like 
you know, all kinds of different um, granny squares, um, you absolutely can do that. You're just going to have some difficulty trying to get um, your sizing to kind of match up perfectly. So, you know, when we go back and sew this together, when we're going to actually um, attach them together, which we'll do in a future video, um, what's going to happen is we're going to have some difficulty matching up the corners um, and then you might have some gapping and things like that that are happening in um, in and around um, your square. So what you would what is ideal is to do all of this or say all of this one um, or you can mix and match these two because they're all you know we're not adding anything fancy into our stitching like we are with this one we've got the circle in the center which then can throw off our measurements these two are this is actually a completely different kind of yarn from this one but they're the same weight so it's very similar this yarn weight here is a medium so these are all actual um, lights so there are three on the weight scale this uh, yellow one is a four which is the same as our pink here that we're doing and so i could probably match these up to each other but if we're going to create this exact same um, granny square for the whole blanket, then that would be lovely. And then you can always, um, there's so many different ways to, to join the squares together and we can talk about a few of those in a future video. Okay, so just jumping back into our granny square here uh, with our pretty pink yarn. Done our 12 single, our double crochets into the magic ring. Uh, I did give it a little tug here to kind of tighten up the center and we're going to finish with a slip stitch to the top of the uh, first or the two chains from the beginning of the row and um, that's going to connect us up and start with a circle. Now we're going to actually turn the circle into a square. In order to do that we're going to start with two chains and we're going to do uh, five more double crochets only in this first um, stitch. Uh, so we have that's uh, two out of six so three, four, Five. Yeah, five, and we make a sixth into the last, into that first um, stitch. And now we're going to skip three um, double crochets here and put another six into the next corner. So this is how we make a corner. We're going to go into the, so one, two, three, and we're going to double crochet into here. And we do six into this corner. Oh, and then now we're going to move into our third corner again, skipping three and going into the uh, third stitch over putting in another six. So we're going to continue and then we're going to do the same thing into the last one. Okay. And skipping three more and going into the last one here. So six more double crochets. So now we've gone from 12 up to 24 stitches on our second row, which is what we would have had if we would made, have made a hat. We would do two into each of the stitches. We're just doing this a little bit differently to make ourselves a nice little square. All right, so three stitches on each side of the corner gives us our six stitches. Some people um, will encourage you to put a chain in here. That just gives you a little bit more space. I don't really find that necessary. Um, you can just easily double crochet six, as you can see, um, straight into, uh, in, in between two stitches. So there's our six, our six, 12, 18, 24 stitches total. If my math is correct. All right. So, and then we're going to slip stitch back into the top of the first set of chains from the first corner. So there's our first two rows. Um, you may have the option here to change colors. Uh, you might like to continue it all single as we did um, with the yellow one. You can tie on another color here and um, and start crocheting with another. You can do the, the first row like I did with the, um, the daisy with the one color and then change colors again. Um, it, it's so 
customized. So there's so many different options you can do for granny squares. Honestly, check out my uh, Pinterest board and uh, I will link that in the description below um, to get you, you know, to give you some ideas. And there's so many patterns online that are free. Um, this is just a straight up granny square. Um, you can turn one granny square into a blanket. There's, there's so many options. So, um, so honestly, the possibilities with the granny square are endless and it is such a nice and easy beginner crocheting um, option. So this is actually what I learned on when I was a kid. I think I might have learned with a um, a scarf. I didn't really like it. It was I, I had a really hard time keeping the edges straight, as I'm sure um, any beginner crocheter uh, would know. Um, keeping your edges straight is probably the hardest thing to do in, in, a, in a straight item like a um, in a scarf. So uh, my mom actually taught me the granny square and uh, we made blankets. She used to make granny square blankets and she'd make them rectangular. So you start with a chain row and then you um, kind of get into the, um, you know, three and then skip and then three and then skip um, from that very first row and you can make it into a big rectangle. Uh, she made baby blankets like that for years. Um, and they were beautiful. Everybody loved them. She even would slip stitch a name into some of them, you know, here and there. They honestly were just beautiful. And so that is a little bit more about me. All right, let's continue this granny square. So what we've done here is we've got two chains. So what we actually look like here is we're kind of over to the left of this kind of space here. So we're going to actually skip it. So we're going to actually finish off our, our, um, crocheting into this space when we get um, around to the end of the row. So from here, we're going to keep our two. Uh, we're going to yarn over, do a double crochet. Now we're into the corner. So we want to, every time we're doing granny square uh, or granny stitches like this, where it's going to be three, skip um, to the next space. Okay. So we've got half of our, our corner here in three. And so we're going to jump into our corner, which is here. Um, and we're going to do six again, because it's a corner. So let's do that and then I'll show you what we do when we get to the side so granny squares are nice so nice and simple um, but it and, and it honestly you can kind of almost crochet them mindlessly once you um, you know get good at what you're doing um, or even even just like kind of halfway good because um, you your hands will will just know what to do you're gonna um, jump into the next space so you're gonna um, move over to the next space and just do three more cro double crochets. It's so simple. If you're having trouble with any of the stitches, uh, I definitely recommend going back and watching the be beginner crochet video, which I'll link in the top corner here. Um, and of course it will be linked in the description as well. Um, so that if you aren't sure about the double crochet, um, but go ahead and watch that video because it will definitely explain it a lot better. Uh, we're doing it quickly here because we're talking more about um, as if you you already know how to do it. All right, so we're back into the next corner over. What I did is I jumped three stitches again, just as I said before, and now we're going into the corner again. So because it's a corner, again, we're doing six double crochets into it. That's five and six. All right, so as you can see, here. As you can see, what we're doing is actually increasing on our rows. So we have two bunches of three here on the second row. And now we actually, if we're holding from the corners, uh, now if you look, it actually has three bunches of three. Um, so we're doing, we're increasing by one bunch um, on each row going around the square. So um, that just kind of shows you the, how the increases work. So, all right, so now we've jumped over into the center um, of the row again, and um, we're gonna continue and finish off our row. So this is kind of where um, you have to be a little bit flexible as to where your grannies um, start and finish um, because at the beginning and the end of the row, um, I will often um, decide um, a different point um, whether or not I will double crochet into the one I, I slip stitch into or whether I won't. Um, and I will usually alternate. So some, some, like some rows I will double crochet into the space and others I will, um, do it at the end of the row. Either way, it's going to get done. So it doesn't really matter, but I like to 
keep it varied. All right, so we're back to the corner. So we're gonna do six. And I'm just gonna finish off the row. Okay, so now we're back to the beginning of the row. Um, as I said, we put our two chains here, then we moved on. So we didn't actually finish off that stitch. So I finished this corner, and now I'm gonna go into the space where we actually did our uh, slip stitch from the previous row, and we're gonna do two double crochets and slip stitch the top of the, um, slip stitch the top of the chains from the row, at the beginning of the row, uh, to finish off our three double crochets there. All right, so at this point, you can absolutely stop there. Again, as I said earlier, you can change colors. Uh, you can continue. Uh, you can turn this exact square into a blanket. You can do stripes. You can do um, any number of things from this point. So basically, that is the essentials of the granny square. You're going to continue as you go, um, just like we did for row number two and three around and around as you go until the square gets as large as you want it to be and then you know you if it's a blanket you can add a border if it's just a say a granny square blanket where you want to make a whole bunch of squares and then sew them together we'll actually talk about, about that in a future video but you know I, I would love to see what you're creating so tag me in your Instagram post at purple.rose.crafts on our Instagram feed and we'll definitely share all of those beautiful works um, to our stories I'd love to see what you guys are all creating from our videos I will um, also be posting a blog post with this and like I said my Pinterest feed is full um, it has a whole board dedicated directly to granny squares and free patterns so go and find something that you love and now that you know how to do the basics of the granny square the sky's the limit so I really want to see what you guys create from here and that's it for this video so uh, hit that subscribe button below and uh, tell us what you'd like to see in the next video in the comments below and don't forget to smash that like button all right, uh, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.